Fancy a bit of shorthanded sailing? Well, if you do, you'd be joining a growing band of sailors who are choosing to leave their full crews ashore and head off double-handed. I'm Matthew Sheehan, Yachting World's racing and technical editor, and this is the Juno Sunfast 3600, an exciting brand new boat that's been aimed squarely at both fully crewed sailing and short-handed sailors. Juno discovered this new market almost by accident. Six years ago, they developed a boat called the 3200 for the Trans Quadra race, another short-handed event. But so popular was that boat up in Northern Europe that they realized there was a growing market for short-handed sailing, but in bigger boats. And this is the product of that. Now, what strikes you first about this boat is the slab-sided top sides, the aggressive chines down near her waterline. She's got a big open cockpit, twin rudders, twin tillers, huge great big space here. This is very much a boat of the modern age. So this is more like it, effortless reaching. We've got about 10 or 12 knots at the moment and we're doing around eight knots with a big kite set. But with these twin rudders and the twin tillers, it's a bit like driving a four by four. It's really, really sure footed, but really, really light with it. That's what's impressing me at the moment. Down below, she's a clever blend of what you might need as a racing sailor and what you might want from a cruising point of view. From the latter's case, nice big chart table, saloon area, decent galley, and a couple of double berths going aft. From a racing point of view, she's really simple and straightforward, almost a wipe clean boat inside. But what I particularly liked was these seats. These are rather neat. We've got one each side, so you can come down below and have a little nod. The more you sail this boat, the more you realise how clever the cockpit layout is. There's nothing particularly flash about the control lines in here, the same as you'd expect on just about any race boat, but it's the layout that counts. I mean, take the helmsman's position for starters. The tiller right here, these twin tillers, right where you need them, and it's a lovely balanced helm. It's just such an easy boat to sail. Main sheet, close to hand, good big foot chocks here, you can brace yourself in really nicely. And down there you've also got the fine-tuned main sheet and the backstay control. All the primary controls that the helmsman needs. But remember, this is a boat that's actually designed for a full crew as well. So the other thing that's impressive about this boat is how the control lines further forward are laid out. Because the cockpit allows enough space to have a full crew of six or seven people in here but also allowing the control lines to be close enough to the helmsman when you're sailing alone. Now that is clever. I'm impressed. The 3600 is a lovely boat to sail. 
She satisfies her brief as a shorthand sailor very well indeed. Everything's very close to hand. But she's also well suited to sailing with a full crew. All of which leads you to wonder whether some of these details couldn't be incorporated in a whole range of other boats, cruisers even. And maybe Juno are just the people to do that. The bottom line is that this boat is one to watch.